You guys, we're back here on this Renai today. We got a new set of igniters for it, and then we got a new circ pump for it. You guys ready? Should be pretty straightforward. One of the handles is broken off of this cutoff valve, so hopefully that will still cut off. But we're gonna get that circ pump replaced, and we're gonna make it happen, guys. Let's get going. You guys, we're gonna be using this screwdriver set over the next couple days by Wise Pro. We got everything we need right here. It's got little, little attachments. We're gonna start with the Phillips today to get that panel off. So you see it just clips right in. If you wanna take it out, you just pull back on here and it drops right out. Kinda of like an impact. So these are electrically rated, uh, electrically safe up to a thousand volts, mostly plastic construction, plastic and rubber. Um, the tip is metal and it is magnetized. All right, let's get this panel off. All right, so we're gonna take this igniter out. We're just gonna take our wiring off first. Lip, lip. Let's get this guy off. This stuff is pretty brittle. Four screws here for the igniter. Take this one out and we're gonna look and take a look at the new igniter. All right guys, so the new igniter comes with all three pieces and a new gasket. Does not come with the new metal. So, have to keep this. I'm gonna get that off there now though. new screws either so you gotta reuse your screws and these are easy to over tighten and cross thread so make sure you don't do that either all right these are all three loose and separate so we're just going to take these out pop it through the front like this whip whip gasket which was torn anyway <laughs> and get rid of this guy all right we're gonna make sure we have a nice clean surface here before we put our new gasket and igniter on make sure the back of our plate is clean too all right Notice two of these are different than the other one. See, these two are my igniters here. They both face the same way. These are the same exact thing. And then this guy is my flame rod. See, it, it's um, angled differently. This is more of a 45, where these are a 90 degree bend. So when they go in though, they're gonna go in like this. So both igniters are going to actually face like this and then our flame rod will go in like this so I'll actually flip this hmm why are we not lining up here let's see here so this should line up like this but for some reason that screw hole is not lining up there that's weird. All right, guys, it doesn't say anything about the gasket not lining up properly, so we're just gonna roll with it. These two here line up, but this one does not. So that's weird. And this is lined up perfectly the way the holes are where my igniter and electrodes go. So this is how it's going in. 
very weird why that doesn't line up like that, but we're going to roll with it. All right, we got our new igniters installed and on our plate. So we're going to send all these through at the same time. So our igniter, I put the uh, gasket on prematurely. So your igniter's going first, then your gasket. We're just going to try to hold all this on together. And then put all this in there. on the end and put those in first make sure we got everything lined up get this guy started and then we're gonna get this guy started make sure it all seats properly and then we'll put our other two in. There it is. There's our new igniter installed. We're gonna go ahead and make the connections now, make sure it works, and then we'll move on to our circulator pump. All right, so for this circ pump, we do have a shut off valve before and after. So let's shut off this one. Shuts all the way off. Doesn't feel like it's shutting all the way off. Maybe it did. This guy was the one I was worried about. Uh -huh. All right. Let's see if we can get him shut off. I was able to get it turning a little bit, but I'm afraid I might break it. I said it is turning some. Matter of fact, when I take this off here, I might actually just... Mm, yeah, I got it turning. I did turn off some other stuff too, just in case. Turned off the cold water. Let me turn this guy off too. Don't really need to turn this guy off, but just to be on the safe side, just turn everything off. All right, we got this one loose. Go ahead and open this up. Got a cup right here to catch any water that might come out. Not a whole lot, considering we got that valve off too. A little bit in that pump lift. All right, get this top one broke free now. All right, we got our old pump down on the ground here. I need that cord off of it though. And here's our new pump here. So we take the middle screw out right there and this pops right off. There's some goodies inside here. Um, this is our, our grommet for putting our electri electric line through. So we'll make sure we use that. Um, so let's get the electrical off of our old pump now. All right guys, here is how the directions show how to put our wire connection on. So we have our fitting, this little plastic clip piece, a metal washer, and then a, uh, a rubber washer there. So all that will go in that hole there after we fish the wire through. All right, with that tightened down, that's got that wire in there. Good and proper. All right, we have it wired up now. I'm not crazy about the way these connected, but 
they're in there, they're tight. I pulled on them, they're not coming out, so. The ground actually went in better than the other two, but you know, they're in there, it's, it is clamped down. It's just, it just kept, felt kind of cheap. Didn't feel like it was, it was in there good, but they are tight, so. All right, we are reusing our adapters here. So we got some Teflon and some, some dope on these. We're gonna clean these up with a brush, uh, put a few new wraps of Mega Lock on them, Mega Lock tape and we're gonna install these in our new pump. Yeah, don't be lazy guys. Get that old dope and tape off there. Look how much better that fitting looks than that. If I would've just wrapped tape around that, that would look like crap. And uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have a good a seal when I put old stuff on top of, or new stuff on top of old. Just looks a lot better, so. Make sure you clean these up guys. I'm guilty of it sometimes too, but clean them up. There we go, guys. We got three good wraps on those guys. We're gonna put them in our new pump now. All right, guys, we got our fittings installed in our new pump. We have an arrow on our pump, so we wanna make sure we install it the correct way. So let's get up there, put it on. All right, and here we have it, guys. We're all tightened down. We got the water back on. Um, and yeah, we're good. I watched it run for a few minutes. Water heater is cycling on and off. We're gonna test a couple hot water spigots inside. Yeah, we are warm coming back, guys. There is some other options that we could add to this pump if we wanted to. Um, it comes with like a timer and stuff like that, but uh, I don't think we need any of that. They basically just want hot water when we when they turn the spigot on. So we're gonna go in and test some test some faucets in there and make sure we're good. But I think we're good. There we have it. All right. Yeah, that got hot pretty quick, although that is pretty close to the water heater. We're gonna go up. Kitchen came on pretty quick also. The real, the real test will be upstairs. Yeah, I mean, it's not, yeah, it's here, it's here already. It's probably gonna take a couple cycles before it gets, it gets all the way through, but we're in the upstairs bathroom and that was definitely warm. All right, our water heater is still back in use, making sure our hot water recirc is recirculating and heating up that water again. We'll just make sure that satisfies and Shoot, guys, I think we'll be good to go here. All right, water heater satisfied, guys. Did a good job here. We're good to go. Yeah, guys, we've been kind of slow. Um, some, some of the guys have been getting off, you know, around lunchtime or so. Some days I got off around one or two o'clock. It's just March, especially when you have a warm March. Uh, it's a slow time of year for HVAC guys. Um, and then it'll hit you all at once. The next thing you know, you'll be slammed and then you'll be slammed all through summer. So, uh, but yeah, this is definitely a weird time of year for us. Uh, March is always weird. Um, September, October is usually always weird for us. They, they called it the shoulder months. So, but we'll pick back up right now. We're just a little slow, but um, we definitely will pick back up guys. So. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.